Ladies and gentlemen, behold my brand new and beautiful ATG backwards treadmill from ATG Equipment. I have been dreaming about owning this thing since it has come out. And thank you so much, Ben Patrick, for making this dream a reality. I will never be able to express my gratitude. Um, I have been breaking this thing in properly over the last two days since I have gotten it <laughs> inside my living room. And I had a couple ideas to make this even more fun. So I brought it out here in my garage and uh, set something up here with my squat rack. So to begin with, I am not taking anything away from this product. I think it is a 10 out of 10. Um, I have nothing bad to say about it, but for taller gentlemen or taller women, I have just a little bit of an optimization uh, idea to make this a little bit more fun, especially for sled pushing. Um, so as we all know, we can simulate the reverse sled pull and get that blood flow with this treadmill by simply just walking backwards on it like this. And this is my favorite exercise in the world, sled pulls, reverse walking. It's my daily exercise I do, and I'm never gonna stop doing it every day. So this is amazing to be able to do this without having to get a sled together or go to the gym and go on a treadmill with an incline. But this treadmill is also very amazing because you can do sled pushes. But if you're a bit taller, um, the button, so if you're a bit taller and you use this treadmill, when you're doing the reverse aspect, your butt is going to be a lot higher than the pad, where most people are going to be able to have that pad probably in their lower back or area or so. And it makes you kind of have to sit on it a little bit, which is perfectly fine. You still, as long as you're, you kind of hold the handles and as close closer, it feels amazing. But if you're a little bit shorter, you could probably benefit from being shorter using this so you can have your back up against it kind of and stand a little bit more upright instead of sitting. And that's just for me personally. But this still works for blood flow. It simulates the sled. It's amazing and it's perfect. No quarrels. But as a tall person, pushing the sled can be a little bit awkward because you really have to lean over and you got to put a lot of weight into it. And that might feel awkward or unstable for some people. I have a pretty strong upper body so it doesn't bug me. But, you know, that's one way I do it. Another way I do it is I'll lean on it like this, which is perfectly fine. This thing will hold the weight. <laughs> it's been holding my weight. It's very sturdy, it's safe. But if you don't want to have to lean over like that, I thought about taking this treadmill out here to the garage putting my squat rack up against the wall and then having the treadmill a little bit of distance away from it, we have a, a safety bar here that I'm going to use to almost simulate a high sled and not have to lean in on the machine so much and um, really be able to probably get a bigger stride and really stretch out my arms like I'm doing a high sled pull. So I would just like to show you that. This is, again, these are just ideas for taller people or maybe for people who just want to, you know, have a different sled push simulation aspect of this. So again, we're going to hold out, I'm going to hold into the safety bar as an anchor, just like you would have a sled in front of you. So as you can see, that's a really, really great way to do a sled push too, so you don't always have to be leaned over on it. It's just another way to do it. And again, these are really suggestions for taller folks using this to just want to maybe change it up a bit. But as far as the pad height goes, it still works so well. This product is a 10 out of 10 for me. And again, it's been such a dream to own 